All right, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna set the stage here uh, and then I will pull up some images and try and detail things a little bit better uh, in this particular video or this go around with LTE Sniffer. But what I'm gonna do is, is a walk through educational demo on capturing an MZ from a uh, basically a UE or a user equipment. Uh, in, in this video, I'm using software defined radios for everything. Uh, for example, the Signal SDR Pro, which I'll show uh, here in a second, is going to simulate the user equipment or the cell phone. NSB205 is going to run the uh, the network, the eNode B, and then an Edis X310 with two daughter boards is going to use LTE Sniffer uh, to simultaneously look at uplink and downlink signals um, in order to accomplish what I'm going to show in this video. Uh, LTE Sniffer is pulled up in front of me, the page here, it's been around for a little while. Uh, I updated it uh, to the recent uh, source code and was recently wanting to test it in Dragon OS Noble, which is what I'm running on uh, right now with the uh, desktop in front of you. I'm screen recording right on it. Should be enough power to handle everything that we're going to throw at it, um, but LTE Sniffer, you can see... Um, I won't read through everything. It uh, decodes the physical downlink control channels, obtains downlink control information. I'm essentially reading what is on the page here. But what I'm most interested in is the fact that it supports an API with three functions for security applications and research. Uh, big one being a uh, passive sniffer that is able to passively get MZ information. Uh, you may remember the GRGSM and the MZ sniffer uh, script for GSM. So, uh, can't decrypt encrypted messages. I'm just going to point that out, and everything in this video is my own stuff. Uh, of course, ethical considerations. Uh, but I just wanted to point out also some of the things that it does support. So, you can see there is some limitations. And... You know, I'll pull up a couple pages here uh, just to point you where you can get some more information. But for um, example, you got a maximum of 20 megahertz base station. Uh, you got FDD only. And there is some uh, requirements here, you know, to have decent horsepower to do this. Uh, I am using the... Uh, X310 because that's really currently the only way. Actually, I can think of something else I'm going to try. There is a fork, or sorry, a branch of LTE Sniffer that can use two uh, B210s with a, a you know a timing source. Um, let's see what else. Uh, so you can do downlink sniffing with um, you know essentially one SDR, uh, but uh, when you get into uplink sniffing, that's where you're going to need to be able to listen to two frequencies at one time. And uh, that's why I'm using the uh, X310. You can see the distance for uplink sniffing. You have to consider that because the user equipment has uh, you know, a significantly weaker signal compared to a downlink signal from the, um, you know, the base station. Let's see, what else? Um, Again, I did, did some info on this in the past. And just uh, keysight.com had, had some really good information. I just was looking at it here, and you know, right off the bat, it breaks down the uh, FDD being frequency division duplexing, uplink and downlink separated by frequency versus uh, the time divisioning, excuse me, division duplexing, which is a separated in time. A lot of information here. Gives you the breakdown on the frame. Um, I'm sure there is a ton of content here to understand LTE networks better. I just was uh, briefly looking through here, whole point of this video. I'm just going to show it working, but it's good to understand um, just LTE. But I feel like that would be a, a multi length video to go through everything. So we're going to jump right into. Uh, getting things set up here. So just so you can have a visualization of what is uh, going on here. The X310 is over on the left. That is hooked to a PC, has uh, 
Actually, it's going via two 10 gig connections. Um, probably would be fine with the uh, one 10 or um, 100, or sorry, one gig connection. Uh, I haven't tried it. This uh, setup is kind of outside of this video. It does work with Dragon OS uh, Noble. You just have to make sure that you have the right FPGA loaded. Um, the Signal SDR Pro in the middle here, this is connected to uh, the same. Actually, you know what? No, I got it mixed up. The Signal SDR Pro is hooked to a mini PC, much like you see here. And that is going to run with SRS uh, RAN 4G to uh, be the user equipment, basically the cell phone. Uh, the B205 Mini is actually hooked to the same desktop that the X310 is hooked to, and that is going to act as our base station. So this is going to set up the cellular network. This is going to connect to the cellular network, and the X310 is going to sniff everything that is happening between those connections. Again, this is just for educational pur um, you know, purposes, uh, but I have checked uh, my own real phones and the same result um, is a success or basically I, I get success so all right let me close this out everything is should be ready to go and what we're going to do is we're going to start up one of these windows we're going to start up our enb and what I'm doing is I don't have the X310 on right yet, but you will hear it when I turn it on. This is going to set up our EMB, and it should be using the B205 Mini. And I did this somewhat backwards. I should have set up our uh, EPC uh, first, which is uh, really kind of probably critical to the whole network infrastructure. So set up the EPC. You can see I did get a connection. Now I left the settings uh, the same in SRS RAN, except for, let me see, just show you real quick. Probably didn't even need changed, but I think the PRB was maybe 50 I change it to 25 it I, I don't think that it really matters to be honest and let me get the other PC set up here so at this point we have our uh, LTE network set up I'm just gonna get the other uh, computer set up oh and PRB uh, a second ago when I mentioned uh, uh, like I guess I need to be better about saying what those acronyms are but physical resource block you can look that up um, to resource allocation and lte be good to kind of understand that what we're going to do now is we're going to get set up let's see so i know you can't see what i'm doing on the other pc but it's just sudo srs ue and before I run that, let me switch back to the PC I'm recording on. I don't know how noisy this is going to get as far as me recording it, but we'll see. The X310 is coming uh, online. I'm going to give it a second. And this is a previous run of it, but you can see that it did find the network FDD 25, you can see. So I'm going to tell it um, to run with two antennas, the four workers, the downlink frequencies 2680 uh, megahertz, and yeah, uplink 2560. And then we can see that I'm running the security API, all, all modes of the security API. So let's see, we're going to run this 
And so that we have this, this should come up and find the network. There is some settings I can run. Uh, you typically see this when you don't have some of the net core settings uh, set. I've really not had a problem, but we're up and running. It found the cellular network. You can see the power and everything else because it's uh, really uh, kind of close. Now, what we want to do is switch back over. So we're, you know, we're kind of just sitting here um, sniffing, looking at the network, the uplink and the downlink frequencies simultaneously, LTE sniffers in the background, just kind of piecing it all together, uh, which it needs all the information on the uplink and downlink to kind of come to the conclusion or give the result that should happen here, which is I'm going to bring the UE up. And so it's going to connect. You'll see it over in my uh, left bottom window. You'll see it connect over there. And then we should get the information that we're looking for uh, on the LTE sniffer console. So let's see. Right now I'm just bringing up the Signal SDR Pro. It's loading the FPGA file. After that, it should go fairly quick. It's attaching. You can see it went uh, really quickly there. Um, it got an IP address. I'm looking at the bottom. Let me switch back over. Let's see, I'm looking over here to the network. Now, yes, I do see this here because I am, in this case, controlling the network. But pretend that I don't have control of the network. Uh, obviously, then I wouldn't see this information. I would be totally reliant on my LTE sniffer, which in this case uh, got us what we're looking for. So we can see that this matches what the network is seeing. And th that is all with LTE sniffer and this open source code. And yes, I'm using some software defined radios here just to you know get this uh, going and tested. Uh, but under the right circumstances and within the limitations of LTE sniffer, L LTE sniffer should and does provide the same result as you see here on real equipment. All right. Uh, hopefully, I took it a little slower this time, and I tried to cover a little bit more. I would encourage reading and understanding. Uh, I find LTE, 4G, just cellular in general, very interesting. But it is a lot of information to learn, and uh, you know, I'll never stop trying to to learn. Just it takes time. So, all right. Yeah. Thanks. I hope that that was uh, helpful.